Hello everyone. My name is Mayank Sharma and I'll be presenting intrasentential speaking rate control in neural text to speech for automated dubbing. This work is an is a joint collaboration between Amazon Prime Video International Expansion, Amazon AI Labs and Amazon Alexa TTS team. A naive automated dubbing pipeline is shown as follows. We start with the source video. We extract the audio. After some pre-processing steps, such as pre-emphasis and uh, removal of background noise, we convert the audio to speech, uh, audio to text, and then we translate the text in source language to the text in the target language. And finally, we convert the text in the target language to the audio in the target language using text-to-speech system. However, this approach has several disadvantages. Number one, we observe improper synchronization between source and target speech, as in there are long or short output sentences. Number two, there is an unfaithful transfer of paralinguistic aspects of original utterance, as in timber, prosody, and emotion generally do not match with the source sentence. For uh, a faithful automated dubbing, there are several requirements. Three of them are most important. Number one is audio isochrony, which is uh, temporal speech pause matching between the source and the target sentence. And this is the most important isochrony. The other types of isochronies are lip isochrony, that is lip movement should match to a certain degree between source and target sentence, and kinetic isochrony, which is uh, possible body movements associated with different uttered words should be matched. A more formal uh, automated dubbing uh, pipeline is shown as follows. We start with the audio. The speech recognition engine converts this audio to text if the subtitles or script is not mentioned. Then the machine translation system converts this uh, source sentence to the uh, target sentence of the dubbed language. The prosodic alignment module identifies the uh, uh, pause, pause duration and the speech duration in the audio as well as the phrase endings. It also identifies the phrases in machine translation system corresponding to the source language. Finally, the text-to-speech system takes into account all these factors such as the target uh, sentence and the prosodic alignment output to generate uh, audio in the target language. In this, uh, uh, in this uh, presentation, we investigate a post-segmentation approach towards generating automated dubs. Consider we have target text sentences. We first segment the target sentences into phrases using prosodic alignment module, and this reflects the speech pause arrangement as the original sentence. Second, we adjust the speaking rate of synthetic voice at phrase level to match the exact timing of each corresponding source phrase. We use a multi-speaker neural text-to-speech architecture for automated dubbing. It consists of two modules, Number one is context generation module as shown here in this box. It takes in text in the target language and the voice profiles, generates the and generates the spectrogram. It also generates an attention map between the text and the audio. Then the neural vocoder module VC converts the uh, MEL spectrogram to the audio or the speech waveform. In this paper, we, can, uh, we uh, experiment and compare pre-segmentation approach from the paper from speech to speech translation to automated dubbing, which came out in 2020 with a more uh, structured approach known as post-segmentation. Consider the sentence, hello world, where hello is from T1 to T2 and world is from T3 to T4 and T3 minus T2 is the pause duration. The machine translation system first converts this hello world into hello world and prosodic alignment module identifies the phrase durations and the pause duration which should exist. So hello is mapped to hello and world is mapped to world in this small example. However, this can also be a set of word known as phrases and this can also be that. 
first this translated target sentence uh, each of the phrases in that is passed through the context generation module which generates the spectrogram as you can see here now these spectrograms are morphed to the uh, target lens as uh, identified by the pa module this then these spectrograms are then passed through the vc module to generate the uh, speech waveform and finally we concatenate all the speech waveform corresponding to the phrases in in that sentence and add the pause duration which is t2 to p3 to generate the final waveform however there are certain disadvantages to this approach number 1 the tts quality often degrade for short phrases and number 2 the generated utterance for phrases tend to end with a decreasing pitch which is typical of ending a sentence however we do not want each individual phrase to end with a decreasing pitch so in the post segmentation approach the first few steps remain the same however what is different is to identify the uh, pause durations and to enable proper uh, pitch uh, contours for the given sentence we add a specific pause marker which we typically denote by a comma after the end of each of the phrase and pass the whole sentence through the context generation module the context generation module uh, generates a complete spectrogram for the complete sentence we use dynamic time warping to identify the time duration associated with the pauses which we inserted we separate out the spectrogram before and after the pauses for that corresponding phrase we morph the two spectrogram as in stretch or reduce the duration to the required duration then we pass individual phrases through a neural vocoder module and generate the audio and then finally concatenate the audio waveforms of the individual phrases after adding the corresponding pause duration which is t2 to t3 our algorithm consists of two basic phases one is the search phase and the refine phase in the search phase we identify the most probable position of spectral frames si comma ai corresponding to the inserted punctuation marks using dynamic time warping on the attention matrix which is generated by the context generation module as shown in the previous figures the refine phase um, consists of refining the uh, refining the timings of those start and end pause intervals consider the ith pause interval si comma ai and consider the spectrogram denoted by s of the size l cross m where l is the number of frames in the spectrogram as and m is the number of bins we modify its duration by thresholding the energy in its neighborhood of 10 frames so we take start the uh, frame from si minus 10 and end the frame at ei plus 10 the energy is computed as follows as mentioned in the equation next we compute the energy derivative dt denoted by del et by del t in that interval and modify the pause or silence duration from the search step to that of the local uh, maxima or minima of the energy derivative we then merge the two consecutive silence blocks if the difference between their end and start time is smaller than 75 millisecond we consider the silence blocks with duration greater than 150 millisecond at phase separating pauses all these durations have been uh, identified after looking at the data set the advantages of our approach are as follows number 1 we eliminate the dependency on external alignment tools such as montreal pose aligner we also obtain comparable or better performances than montreal pose aligner we remove the extra vocoder step required by external alignment tools and this provides an optimization or training free for new language once your uh, context generation and the vocoder are multilingual in nature we also uh, present the results of segmentation quality measured with percentage coverage denoted by c percentage and percentage purity which is denoted by p percentage of both pauses uh, and speech on 100 sentences with three different tts voices 
of which two are female and one is male for each of the three languages considered which is french german and spanish mfa is the montreal first liner output in the table and star shows where the differences are statistically significant that is p value is less than 10 to the power minus 4 from the table we observe that the search and refine method always outperforms the search method which is just using the dtw and it is better than montreal first liner for german and spanish in terms of purity and uh, results in uh, better uh, in comparable uh, purity and coverage values uh, as compared to montreal first liner for the coverage once this model is ready we also test the subjective preference of audio quality on 50 utterances which are different from the previous ones by using the pre and post segmentation approach we give this 50 sentences to the users um, which are generated by pre and post segmentation approach and ask them to mark which which of the two they prefer we observe that for french and german the users prefer close to 38 to 39 percentage of the sentences over the pre segmentation approach and it is statistically significant than pre segmentation approach for spanish the users uh, there is no statistical significance observed at a p value of less than 0.01 however there is an improvement of 5% as you can see in the table in conclusion we discussed adjusting the speaking rate of neural text to speech for phrases inside a sentence to meet the typical synchronization constraint posed by speech stopping we also proposed generating the entire sentence after introducing the punctuation at the end of each phrase and segmenting the spectrum by leveraging the attention matrix our human evaluation show that speaking rate adjustment at the phrase level obtained from post segmentation approach result in more natural sentences that's it from my side thank you and i'm open to question